Hello and welcome to some more Tesla news. Big news week, the semi-reveal, the Roadster. I was there, here's the inside scoop. All right, so first off, the semi, is it, it's, it's huge. I mean like physically huge and the batteries must be huge. And it's just, it, I think it meets all the little check marks that everybody was kind of hoping for. 500 mile range with the max weight traveling at highway speeds. Now, Elon said 60 miles per hour, and here in Wyoming, it's 80. <laughs> but, you know, most of the diesel semis don't, you know, when they're carrying max weight, they don't go 80. We're always having to pass them. They are going closer to 60. They're also saying that it can go up a grade faster than a diesel semi, which is great. And also the co total cost of ownership. This is how Tesla does things, because, yes, they are going to be more expensive than diesel trucks, but the cost of ownership is going to be lower because the energy used to power them, the fuel costs are gonna be significantly lower, especially if you use it more. And they're also talking about a million mile powertrain warranty and locking down the rates of the supercharging to seven cents a kilowatt. They also talked about platooning them, <laughs> or a convoy so that like you can drive one of them and then you'd have a couple behind you that are following through the autopilot type system. It's interesting though, because Elon said that that is available and working today, that that technology is all good to go. And it's already 10 times safer than a human, which worries me just a little bit because all the cars that he's been putting out, he was originally saying that, you know, in a, you know two years, they'll all be able to be self-driving. And these trucks are gonna come out in pretty much two years. He's saying they're gonna start making them in 2019. Maybe it's just they don't want to talk people out of the job. I mean, like if a trucker is trying to buy a semi and you're like, wait a second, why would I buy this if it's going to put me out of work for my drivers? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. It's kind of interesting. There's a little bit of contradicting statements about how autopilot's going to be, or just maybe you really need like a, like a platoon leader to control semis because they're huge and massive. I mean, just those things just driving around with nobody in them. I mean, when there's a wreck in a semi, that's a, that's a big deal. I mean, it's very, very dangerous. So I can imagine that maybe the regulatory side, they're going to be asking auto manufacturers to hold off on fully 100% autonomous for semis. And they probably would allow things like platooning where, you know, somebody's still controlling the convoy of semis. In this case, Elon's saying it'd be even cheaper than rail. It'd be competitive with railroads because you could have all these these semis following one leader it's, it's pretty pretty exciting stuff on the semi front they even showed off the tesla pickup truck maybe i'm still trying to figure that out what do you guys think he said this is a this is a pickup that could carry a pickup <laughs> you could put your pickup in and you wouldn't need a cdl to drive it we think <laughs> but the thing is massive it, it basically is the semi with a pickup back on it i think they didn't give any details on that uh, other than just a real quick picture and just that comment. So that's a semi. And so everybody's all happy. They're like, ooh, yay, semi, cool. And everything, the lights shut down, the semi start to pull away and it stops. And of course, the back opens up and out drives the new Roadster. So we've got the second gen Roadster and the thing is just like everything that people were, you know, looking for in like electric car in terms of performance like you know a supercar it's it's got a range of over 650 miles and it's a 200 kilowatt hour battery the zero to 60 is 1.9 and <laughs> and elon actually on stage said it was 1.8 and then during some of the test drives they said you know we're saying it's 1.9 it's under two but it's actually a bit faster than that we're not going to say so that's maximum plaid mode or the, you know, the $200,000 version of it's going to be plaid and maybe the $250,000 of it's going to be maximum plaid. <laughs> so if you want a founder's edition, you got to cough up $250,000 right away. And if you want, and, and uh, you could get a test drive one when you're at the event, <laughs> the prototype or not drive, just ride in it. Now at the event, they were giving test rides and for you know, $45,000, they'd let you ride in it. So there was actually a line all night long of people that were going over to the computer, plopping down their $45,000 and getting a test ride. I wish I could have done that. <laughs> I, 
I don't know. I don't think that's the car for me, not only because of the price. Uh, it is technically a four-seater, kind of like the Chevy Volt is a four-seater, except they have to be even smaller people in the back seat. Like Elon was saying, you know, one tall person could kind of fit in it. So I think it's somewhere between a regular back seat and like the jumper seats in the Model S. Uh, I, I want to see more pictures of it. It's only been overnight uh, since recording this, and I'm sure there's all kinds of things. I think I think the whole event was a huge success. Walmart's uh, ordering, I think, like 15 semis. Uh, there's a there was a bunch of companies. They sectioned off like half, like a quarter of the event for people that were in the semi industry, and they were taking them through. And you, they got to go in and more detail Franz was showing them like the, the driver area and how that it's centered there's like a single seat in the center and there's like a jump there was one jumper seat in the back of one of them but there could be like two so you could potentially have three people in there it, but it was cool it was like a little starship or something because you have your, your two screens to the right and left of you that can show all your information and monitoring everything around you they mentioned the autopilot enhanced autopilot would be standard with all the semis it would do, of course, lane keeping. I imagine it's also doing auto steer. They didn't really say that per se. It wouldn't allow the truck to jackknife in that the way that the the four motors are designed and they're independently controlled. Uh, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. And they also had glass that could withstand a thermal nuclear explosion. <laughs> and they were showing a trailer hitch hitting the windshield and cracking a normal windshield, but not cracking the semi windshield. And I hope they, they come out with those for the Model X because these windshields are expensive <laughs> and they're huge. So there's a lot more surface area that can get hit. Elon explained that on a semi, you know, it puts somebody out of out of work for a while if you get a crack because you're not allowed to drive with a crack in the windshield. And it could be a while before you get a, you know, a replacement windshield if you're out on a job. There's just a lot of things that he was saying they were laying a hardcore smackdown on gas vehicles because <laughs> with a semi it can go faster uphill uh, it can just go faster on the road and the recharge time the new mega charger network will re recharge 400 miles in 30 minutes and they could be destination chargers as well so while you're unloading your cargo it could be charging and he's saying that a semi because the tank is so big usually diesel takes a good 15 minutes to fill up anyway so it's not like significantly longer you know like superchargers are set up now they can have more stalls than gas stations have for gas so in all reality this can be way more convenient because they can put them right at the loading docks and you know delivery areas and it, it's it's pretty exciting the future's here <laughs> I, I think they did a really good show to show off the advantages of going all electric let me know what you guys think Thank you so much for subscribing. Any other things that you want to know, just, just ask. And uh, I'll see you guys uh, next time. Please, please subscribe. It lets me know that you guys are watching. Bye, guys.